All right, you guys, morning of Motorella. I'm heading down to get my Starbucks, just a black iced coffee for me, um, and get ready for my day and really just cognitively understand what's about to happen to me. I'm doing a mud obstacle course. It's about five miles long and I've trained zero training whatsoever so far. So we'll see if I survive, but it's about completion. It's not about finishing the fastest. It's about completion. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit when we're heading out the door. By extraneous evidence, the safest course is to believe in the moral government of the world and therefore in the supremacy of the moral law. This video is going to be all about my experience at Mutterella. Now, if you've never heard of Mutterella, it kind of sounds like what it is exactly. It is a five to seven mile long obstacle course in the mud. Now, if you guys know me personally or you've watched a couple of my videos, visited my blog, you can kind of get that I'm not really the most physically fit kind of girl. So in any case, I'm not really a fitness junkie, so this event actually got on my radar. I probably would have never attended it normally, but I was actually approached by St. Ives um, about two months ago about an opportunity coming up. You guys all know St. Ives and the famous apricot scrub, which is like a cult beauty favorite. So it turns out St. Ives is actually one of the title sponsors of Mutterella, and they actually sponsored a shower station at the end of the obstacle course. I thought that was really cool, and obviously this was something outside of my comfort zone, so I said, yes, definitely, let's do this. So I actually got to attend on behalf of St. Ives as part of the St. Ives team, and I got to bring a friends. So this is a super amazing opportunity and something I would not get to try on my own, uh, just because I'm not really in the fitness world that much. So yeah, I thought today I would share a couple clips from the obstacle course. Course. I didn't really do too much filming while I was there, but I did take a lot of photos. So if you're viewing this on my blog, you'll see all the photos. If you're viewing this video on YouTube though, please visit my blog ChelseaPearl.com to see a ton more content from the day at Mutterella. So anyways, I got to bring a friend. I brought my friend Susie, who is really, really into obstacle courses, 5Ks, all that stuff. She's really into fitness as well, and she's definitely my inspiration when it comes to these kind of things. Um, so I asked her if she was down, and she said absolutely. So. It was very nice going with somebody who has done these kind of things before. Definitely these things are a lot more fun as a team, so try and recruit your friend, your best friend, any siblings, cousins, whoever, or people even from your work or your school. I thought it was really great and just getting there, seeing everybody with like their team t-shirts on was amazing. Uh, we were part of the St. Ives team, but just to be clear, there were only two of us. So my friend who I brought, she's actually really experienced and one of the first obstacle courses she ever did was Tough Mudder. Tough Mudder is actually put on by the same company as Mudderella, so um, this is kind of like more female focused obstacle course. The reason why all their stuff is purple is because the event benefits domestic violence uh, awareness, which is a huge, huge thing um, probably around the world, but definitely in America, I think one in four women have been personally impacted by the effects of domestic violence, so it's a very um, serious cause that I think not a lot of attention is paid to in mainstream media so yeah definitely it felt good I didn't really do any fundraising but it felt good to be at an event that was supporting an important cause did I do any training for this event no but I did talk to my friend a lot I asked her a ton of questions like what to wear um, how to train even the Mutterella website had a lot of short videos on how to train Mutterella website and social media accounts were great to follow for training tips but unfortunately I didn't really have much time uh, to allocate to training so I kind of went into it with an open mind we did uh, get cropped capris from Old Navy and we got a um, Mutterella St. Ives t-shirts to wear and then we just like wore a sports bra underneath and then I ended up wearing my Merrill hiking boots which are like a low top 
Here, I'll show you. So I ended up wearing these shoes from Motorella. These are my Merrill hiking boots that I got from REI. Got them for my birthday a year or two ago. And these are great because they're machine washable and they are waterproof. Um, obviously, they're not totally waterproof when you're jumping in pools of mud, but uh, they washed right out in the washing machine, no problem. It was great talking to my friend because she told me all the things to bring afterwards. Since St. Ives had a shower, it was great. There were products there to use um, and there was a tent to change in. So definitely remember to bring uh, extra clothes, deodorant, um, shoes for when you leave the event because obviously you don't want to get in, into your car all muddy and gross the whole mantra of these obstacle course things is like teamwork and camaraderie which is great because I think even if you saw somebody who was struggling with the obstacle and say their whole team was on the other side of the wall or the the pit or whatever it might be nobody's afraid to go help that person give them a boost or give them a hand helping them up or down off a different obstacle so I thought that that was really cool and something I never really experienced before from strangers I mean it was just really cool to have that sense of family uh, with people you don't even know when you register for Motorella, you have your choice of start time so you could either be the very very first group or you could be the last group it doesn't really matter it kind of just depends on what you're most comfortable with and I think also you should think about what time of day it is so if you're gonna start at 11 just be prepared that you're gonna be doing it through like noon and one o'clock the sun's probably gonna be the hottest at that time if you do it the first group of the day um, you might still be asleep did you have your coffee yet but you might get done before the um, day gets the hottest or just depending where you're at uh, just think about like weather and conditions like that so before you start off the obstacle course there's a great little stretch and shake it out session there's like dance music blasting everybody's kind of getting pumped up and then you're off so the first section of Motorella was kind of a long kind of track um, running is not my strong suit obviously and we pretty much jogged that I'd say it was about a mile a mile and a half and we were definitely already working up a sweat by then so all the obstacles at Mutterella had a really kitschy name to them. Uh, the first one was called I Got Your Back, and it was like a piggyback ride, and it was kind of a, I don't know, 50-yard kind of track. I actually got to take a ride for that when my friend picked me up and took me the whole way. She did a great job, and I was like rooting her on the whole way. Um, but then like the next uh, obstacle was actually one that was down in the mud. So you'll see pictures of this on my blog and some clips that we'll get into where you're on all fours kind of going under um, this like barbed wire type thing and you're getting dirty. Uh, so then there were other obstacles like climbing over walls, jumping through mud pits. It was all really fun and pretty challenging for myself, somebody who's not extremely active or physically fit. But at the end of the day, there were no obstacles that I totally gave up on. No obstacles that I was like, eh, I'm going to walk around this one. I pretty much completed every single obstacle, and I didn't do it in the fastest time. I think with these obstacle courses, it's not about finishing in a certain amount of time, like you might in a marathon or a 5K, where you're pushing yourself to do a certain task at hand in a certain amount of time. Motorella and obstacle courses are much more about completion and finishing all the tasks at hand, and not so much about running as fast as you can in between each one and doing the task at hand. I think it's more about the concentration and the mental aspect of finishing the challenge that's ahead of you. So I really like that because obviously I'm not good at running and I'm not the most physically fit so it, it felt good to actually take my time with the obstacles and do them and finish them without getting hurt and without like wearing myself out. Some of the more scary um, obstacles, they had one obstacle that was um, like truck tires I guess and they were suspended on these cables and you had to like navigate from each of the tires and each of them were held by like three cables so they were kind of like wobbly and it was definitely a you know a patience and timing and control kind of agility type thing I almost ate it on that one I'll be honest um, and my friend finished much faster than I did and I felt kind of bad because I was almost like bumping into people while I was doing it um, so that was definitely a challenge for me and then the last obstacle of the day was called um, the hat trick and it was a huge rope climb I felt like I was on American Ninja Warrior or something I was like so scared it was like a very very steep rope ladder and at the top there's this epic water slide and it's terrifying it is like pretty much vertical at first and then it shoots you off into a pool um, that like water is like spraying into it's definitely a muddy pool but it's kind of like it washes off most of the mud that you accrued through the obstacle course until this point I definitely got mud and water up my nose I was like coughing after that but once you get out of that you see the finish line and we pretty much ran the rest of the way and finished uh, I would say if you're if you're somebody who's extremely physical fit and loves you know a challenge Motorella might 
be too easy for you. I think that all of the obstacles at hand, I definitely struggle with some of them, but I completed them. But I did read on some of their social media, people were complaining that, you know, they had gone to Tough Mudder and they were just a little bit disappointed with the um, difficulty level of the obstacles at Mudderella. And I could see that because I've heard of Tough Mudder and I just get terrified at the thought of that. There's actually obstacles where you go and like you have to like pick up logs and like toss them across things and then there's other ones that you have to climb through and there's like this electric wire that will shock you and then you have to go in like an ice bath oh it's just terrifying so um yeah I mean I think that if you are much more rugged and you're much more of a tough mutter kind of person mutterella might be too easy for you but definitely I think there's something here for everybody and I think that if you're scared of doing one of these things uh mutterella is a great starting point and I think that you can do it even if you're somebody like me who had no time to train and just approach it with an open mind. So at the end of the race, we got these little wristbands. There was like a whole little village of activities at the end. There was a bar sponsored by Shock Top. There was a t-shirt station. There was protein bar companies giving out samples. So there was like a little step, step repeat where you could show off your little muddy bib and you're just like dripping and it's, it's, just, it's exhilarating. Let me tell you that beer at the finish line was definitely very satisfying. Like I said, the obstacle course, depending on your area, they obviously build it from scratch. It's five to seven miles long. I think ours was a little bit over five and a half, and it took us about two hours to complete it. I think we could have done it faster, to be honest, but there were some obstacles where there was a little bit of a line to do them. So some of the obstacles had a little bit of a line. There was one in particular called tough tatas and there was a little bit of a line because people were waiting to climb to the top and then wave to their friends at the bottom to take pictures of them so naturally people were, were going a little bit slower at that one so we waited about 20 to 30 minutes for that obstacle which kind of sucked but obviously if you were in a time crunch you could go around it definitely I did not wear my Apple watch even though there is a fitness tracker in this you would be totally submerged in mud at some point or another in Mutterella, whether it was the slide at the end or like the mud pits where you're pretty much waist to boob deep in mud. So I definitely don't recommend wearing your Apple Watch because it's going to get gritty and grimy and gross. I did wear my Fitbit Flex, but I think it died halfway so I didn't even like get my steps counted. But I would definitely recommend wearing a fitness tracker if you're curious to see how many steps you took or how far you went. Uh, but I definitely do not recommend wearing your Apple Watch because that's too dangerous but we really focused on getting still photography that day at the at the event. Um, and if you're curious, these still photos, we rented a lens, a zoom lens from borrowlenses.com. You can check that out. I'll have it linked in the blog post below. It was super helpful, and it definitely really helped to have uh, a nice little uh, spectator with us who was my boyfriend who so thankfully and so selflessly gave the day away to come with us to the event and kind of stand on the sidelines and be the little photographer. It was kind of funny and really sad at the same time because he looks so official with like this big zoom lens and like this monopod type tripod thing. People thought he was an official event photographer. So I'm so, so sorry if you're finding this video and you thought he took your photo. I've actually put all those photos on my Facebook page. So please check out my Facebook page because I felt so bad. All these people had their photos and like they were good photos. People were smiling and waving and People stopped him all day to have photos taken of themselves. So I have no way to contact them and we weren't really prepared for that kind of situation. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that was probably the funniest thing of the day. And then obviously getting mud in my ears and everything else, mud on my eyelids. Yeah. So that is my little recap of Mutterella. I hope you guys liked it. Again, please check out my blog, ChelseaPro.com, for more photos, more thoughts, more stuff with St. Ives, and all the cool things we did there. So I want to say something motivating at the end of this. Like, if I could do it, you could do it. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Yay for new things. This is my year for new things. I've done so many new things this year. Um, not just the mud obstacle course, but things like paddleboard yoga and just like tiptoeing my way into more fitness related activities because again, not the most fit girl in the world. I know it. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.